Mom? Dad? Anyone? So bread. Last episode also bread. But I got no food in my house. Only bread. What to do there? Hmm. I have an idea. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Shelf to Table, the only food review show hosted by someone who cannot cook. Today, I know that you're looking at the bread in front of me and going like, yeah, but we did this in the last episode. I have something different for you. <coughs> Butter and margarine. Instead of just doing bread like we did in the previous episode, specifically about bread, today I wanted to do something a little bit different and it's a part of our lives as Malaysians. We love bread. And what do we do when we go to a mama store? Roti planta kan? That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna talk to you about margarine and butter. I'm gonna share with you a few of the differences that you might not have known although you've been consuming these products for your entire life. So come with me through this journey and I'll even show you my first impressions of the butter and margarine, how it looks, what it smells like, and ultimately I'll be doing a blind test to decide which I like better, butter or margarine. Let's get to it. So before we get into it, I'm pretty sure you're wondering, out of all the brands of butter and margarine on the market, why did I choose Golden Churn and Natural? Well, the simple answer would be, I don't know anything about butter and margarine. <laughs> so before I went to the supermarket, I actually asked my parents and these two brands were the ones that they gave me. Hence, that is why they're in front of me right now. So what we're gonna do next is, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the packaging for these two different products. And after that, I'll be proceeding to open up the products, give it a little smell, taste it a little bit, and tell you what I think before we proceed to the blind test. Based on the two packagings that I have in front of me, to be very honest, I think the natural looks a bit cheaper. Well, the fact is, that the margarine is typically cheaper than butter. I'll tell you a little bit more about some fun facts about butter and margarine later on in the video, so stick around for that. I think that the Golden Churn one looks a lot more classy compared to the packaging of the Natural one. The Natural one kind of reminds me of like dish soap. It looks like a dish soap container. It honestly smells like fat, creamy fat, and a little bit like, I don't know if you've smelled cheese before. It smells kind of nice, like it's creamy and rich, but at the same time, it smells kind of funky. Yeah, this one has the funky smell as well, that kind of eats into your nostrils. It's a little bit strong and sharp smell. Yeah, but otherwise, it kind of smells and looks like butter to me as well. This is margarine. So next, we'll be going to be opening up the butter. This smells a lot better than margarine. I wasn't expecting a difference. Because to be honest, tell me, look at it. What is the difference? They're both yellow. They both look like solid liquid thingy. But the butter smells a lot nicer. Now we're moving on to a taste test where I'll be taking a little bit of each and eating it by itself to try to see if there's any difference. Okay. So my dear friend has just mixed up the margarine and butter as you can see on these two spoons. So I have no idea which is which. I'll be giving a blind taste test and I'll tell you which I prefer more and what the differences are if there are any. So I'll be starting off with the left spoon first. Are you ready? I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Do people just eat butter like that? I think this is the margarine one because it tastes a little bit buttery and creamy like that, like what you expect from butter. But at the same time, there's this like weird taste that is not really butter accompanying it. I don't really know how to describe it, but it does, it's like not pure butter. Okay, on to the next one. Let me clear my palate first. Huh? Okay, on to the next one. Mm. That's definitely butter. So what I think is the left one was margarine and the right one is butter. And why I say that is because the right one was a lot more creamy and it tasted a lot more strong. Whereas the left one, yes, it was sweet. Yes, it was creamy, but it didn't really have that butter taste. Do you know what I mean? Have you guys ever eaten butter? So that butter taste, right? The right spoon had a lot more of it, whereas the left spoon seemed a little bit diluted that taste. Like it was mixed with something else. So that's why I think the left one was margarine. I know I'm right. <laughs> Yes, correct. 
Okay, so now that we've done all that fun stuff, this is the time of the video where you get to watch me eat bread and spread some butter. Also tell you some fun facts about butter and margarine that you might not know. The difference between butter and margarine, I would say is that margarine would not need such a long time to defrost in a way because the way you keep margarine and butter is in a fridge or the freezer where it gets hard, right? Ultimately, these products are made of fat. They're made of fat. So when you take it out and you want to prepare it and you want to spread it on bread, the butter needs a little bit more time to, in a way, defrost so that it's a, little, a lot more spreadable. Okay, as you can see, the butter's not uh, very hard at the moment because we've taken it out for quite a while already. But if it was fresh from the fridge or the freezer, instead of having a nice spread like this where I can actually pull my knife across and drag the butter across, spreading it like that, instead of this, you actually have hard clumps where you won't be able to spread the butter very well. And I think if you're lazy or if you want something a little bit more fast, I think margarine would be the way to go because it takes less time to defrost and you can possibly eat it a lot faster. Okay, so this is the bread spread with butter. Now, I bet you're wondering, out of all the brands that are out there in the market, like I said, yes, my parents introduced this brand or recommended these brands, but also I think Natural is quite a common brand in Malaysia. It's very easily found, very accessible in all the different grocery stores. In terms of butter, why golden churn? Well, firstly, we wanted something that was pure butter. So in the supermarket, when you look at butter, you typically find two types. One is your normal butter, which is your pure-ish butter. And the second will be spreadable butter, which is actually butter mixed in with vegetable oils, no matter what they might be. Palm, granola, rapeseed, whatever, right? And typically, for spreadable butter, the percentage of this vegetable oil, the composition is about 30%. So butter is, say, 100% butter. Spreadable butter butter is about 70% butter. So now you know what the difference is. If you're thinking that you're getting high quality pure butter, if you see the word spreadable on the box, that is not true. Another thing about butter and margarine is I have heard from some older friends of mine that in the past, people in Malaysia typically used to use margarine for their cooking or the preparation of their meals. It's because margarine was a lot more accessible back then. Back in those days when we did not have ships going around and planes flying around, trade was a lot more expensive. It was a lot more inaccessible accessible. Butter was imported from Australia typically and that would in turn increase the cost that consumers would have to pay for the butter. So what would Malaysians do? We cheap can. So we would take margarine. I'm not a health expert. I won't tell you that margarine is more healthy or butter is more healthy. My personal opinion is I think that butter is a little bit more healthy because it's more pure rather than uh, mixed in with you know vegetable oils which you might not know what they mix into the butter as well. The next spread will be the margarine spread and as you can see on the box it says soft here. You know how I was mentioning that when you take butter out of the fridge, you would have to let it defrost for a little bit before you can actually spread it so that it's smooth. Whereas this margarine, it says soft. When you take it out of the fridge, it actually, you don't have to wait too long for it to be spreadable. You can actually just go ahead, dig it in and it should be pretty soft. Let me see what it's like. Oh, this is definitely better than the butter for sure. It's a lot more easy to take out. But also, one thing I would want to say is that this margarine seems a little bit more oily in a way. Butter and margarine are actually made of dairy, right? So it's essentially kind of fat. So butter on, uh, only has saturated fat. Well, butter and margarine have saturated fat in both of them, whereas margarine has trans fat as well, so it's a little bit more unhealthy. However, knowing that both of these products stem from the same source, which is dairy and fat, it's always better to consume these products in moderation. Don't go around telling your mom that I recommended this and eat this all the time and it's really healthy, okay? Another fun fact that you might not know is this usage of butter or margarine to roast coffee beans and if you did not know that don't worry because I just found out too. So in Malaysia right what I found out was actually that when they tell you coffee beans are roasted with butter typically they're actually roasted with margarine and why is that? It's because the cost of margarine is a lot lower than that of butter. Take these two examples that we have in front of me. The golden churn butter compared to the natural margarine is almost two times the price or slightly more. I think hence why if you're producing an en masse and you're producing coffee beans industrially, blah, 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 it would definitely make more sense to use margarine instead of butter. Why? Because we love money. Before I finish this bread, I do want to tell you that my personal preference actually is the butter. If I was eating it individually and I did not have the other option, I think both butter and margarine would be fine with me. I can't really tell the difference if I don't taste them side by side. But if I do taste them side by side and I have these options, I think my choice would be the butter. 
butter for sure. Do let me know what you think if you tried both butter and margarine and you have experience with both these products in your life and which one you prefer better. Are you a margarine person or a butter person? You might wonder why is the setting here different? It's because I didn't think about it and now only I did so that's why we're recording it now. One fun fact about margarine that you might not know, molecularly, you know what molecularly means? It's like at the atomic level, right? It's only one molecule away from plastic, you believe or not? When you eat margarine, uh, you are so close to eating plastic. Would you eat plastic? I have searched this issue up online and what I found is actually that it's a myth. You guys should have no worries about eating margarine except consuming too much because it will give you a heart attack. But besides that, it's pretty safe. It is molecularly quite similar to plastic. However, I would like you to consider this fact that humans, our DNA is quite similar to chimpanzees as well. Does that mean we are chimpanzees? No, that's right. So, ta-da. Another thing that I wanted to say, this was like a stupid thought that I had. Why can't Malaysians make butter? Why is Australia and the USA and countries like that so special. And the reason is the cows there are fatter, bro. The cows here are skinny. Now you know. <laughs> On a more serious note, just to let you guys know, I am not a health professional. I'm not even a food professional. Hell, I can't even cook. These videos are actually just more for fun, for a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of trivia, and for you to just enjoy the content that we put out. But don't come in the comments bashing me about my scientific facts, blah, 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 because I ain't no scientist. This, bro. Thank you again. I'll leave it to you guys in the comments to correct me where I've gone wrong and I'm fully open to feedback. Once again, we are shelf to table. Thank you for watching our video. Yes, I know it's quite similar to the previous video, but the previous video was about bread and today's about butter. So there is a difference. Hopefully you like this video and these videos are actually our bread and butter. Eh? If you like us and you like to support us, please maybe give us a like on this video to show us that you like this content. Subscribe, leave us comments down below to tell us any feedback that we can improve our videos to give you better content in the future. Again, my name is Ian. I definitely cannot cook and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.